and then no hands were throwing us. So. But this has to be a pretty weird dream. Any of you have weird dreams? I have weird dreams. Yeah. So that's why the other thing I was disturbed because this was a weird dream. Then like. the interpretation was told. It is. He was to be that first kingdom to go. Now, just so you know, three times and then you're the other thing that so okay, let's go to the interpretation. How many of you remember what is the silver? Edo Persia, yes. And then brass. Reese. And then the iron. It was broke. How many of you said something interesting? First things first, why was he um, Gavilan gold? Because many, when you go to Gavilan, it's all like made of gold. And your currency was gold. So when they paid for it, it was gold. He of Persia, it was silver. Your currency was silver. Now why is Greece brass? Because Greece, you know, you could say coats of arms, you know, when they fight, is made of brass. So their shield, when they wore was brass. Alexander. And then, Rome was iron. Why was iron? Can you tell me, look at this. Make, now, make an observation. What did you observe about this country? Not this spirit. Not Right? Okay, look at the value of the metal. Tell me what you can tell me. It really increases. In regards to moral value, as each kingdom succeeded, the morality increased. By the time you got to iron, the Romans were morally corrupt. Very morally corrupt. The practice of homosexuality, they were known for it. They would take other people's wives, other people's husbands, and you know, they were so morally corrupt. What else did you notice about this? The strength of the mental increased. So 
he's now seeing the God of Daniel is awesome. And the reaction to this was that he made Daniel the department head leader of the wise men. <laughs> At the age of 21, he's the department head. So all the wise men answered to him. Soothsayers, magicians, astrologers, you name it. They all know it's at the age of what, 21, 22, 22. Let's just be conscious. You know, I, I assume this would have created a lot of animosity for the rest. Um, I don't know, it's true in Philippines, but in Indonesia, there is a But the wealth of the country, 70% is owned by them. So there is animosity. So recently, we had a governor of our, of our city. His name is Ahok Chinese. He became governor. And a lot of the ruling ethnic, which is Japanese, this is, they're not like him. Because first of all, he's Chinese. And second, he's wealthy by his own right. He has it was an animosity. So you can understand, this is a captive, Hebrew, and now department head. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you can imagine the animosity here. And so if you, when we later study them, there's a reason why they do what they do. I'm sorry. And I like what Daniel did. After he was made department head, he did. I mean, make sure they are good workers, you know, <laughs> just because you're a friend. But Daniel, he knew he could trust his friends. But make sure the ones that you know, who are good workers, who are, you know,
then the sudden now happens at a time where it is no longer Nebuchadnezzar's time. This is Nebuchadnezzar's grandson named Belshazzar. He has the dream, but the dream is different from the dream like Nebuchadnezzar. Like that, Nebuchadnezzar, when he dreamed this, it was they were both sleeping, they were on their bed. And then, I didn't make Daniel's dream. He saw four beasts. Let's look at this. Okay. Can someone uh, read this? The first was like a lion. Conquered, he went 
conquer and conquer. He did not stop. That was how fast. And the sad thing about Alexander the Great, he died at the age of 33. Wow, he's fast. Yeah, he, found, he died fast too. He died fast. Interesting enough. He died at 33. Conquered many. He so died at 33. Good <laughs> and then when Alexander died, there was infighting between his generals. So that's why it's four four heads. So when he died, Greece was a great nation, but the four generals made the decision that they would take two parts. And North belongs to one king, one general, and North belongs to one general, one general.
we don't have animal genes. And then the one thing that swallowed uh, Jonah is a whale. Everyone assumes it's a whale. It's a big fish. So, catch yourself. Okay, so, he does not know, but this is very interesting. This beast is so hideous that there's a whole, like, there's two verses dedicated to one description of the beast and one is on top of the beast. So basically, unlike in Daniel chapter 2, it just says iron and then iron makes you clay. Whereas this one, this beast, this is specific. So whatever that came out this point is Roman in nature because it came out of the fourth beast. Remember this when you're studying that. I urge you to study it up here. So it's actually talking two phases of the beast. One we call the pagan world. Second we call the pagan world. Pagan Rome was more interested in conquering nations. That's why it says he had teeth of iron. So it's basically conquering with its teeth. It's made of iron. And it will break it. And then what? Foot that is made of what? It says. And step the rescue. It divide break it because it step the rescue with its foot. But and it changed from paper to paper roll. It no longer became conquered in terms of territory. Look at the description. It all came another little horn. Three horns were plucked up. And they had the eyes of men and the mouth speaking great things. So this is no longer ter conquering territory space. This has to be more than that. And the description comes in a score in the same place. Verse 19. Okay, sorry. Verse 25. What this little horn will do. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think of the changed times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until the time and times and the dividing of time. Immediately, based on this interpretation, we know this has to be religious. Because it says, it will speak great words against the most high. So Daniel 7 now deals, whereas Daniel 2 is more of a telling Nebuchadnezzar what will happen to his kingdom, Daniel 7 now tells God's people there will be an issue of worship. at the ending of this, this dream. Here too is the end of the matter, as for me, Daniel, my consultation is much troubled and my confidence changed in me, but I kept the matter in my mind. You have to understand that is writing like a reporter here. He's just telling us what he saw, writing to us, so what is the lesson you know? There are times when we learn about things in the world, about what God is us, it will trouble us.
talk about the, the drones and all that because I don't have enough time. I guess we need to talk about this. Time. I'm just giving you the general so that you can see. So I'll give you a So this is what he saw, the animals. And this is the Divided Rome was a time period when the Roman Empire was destroyed and they were in transition phase. Okay. That's seen in that ten toes actually. Okay. And from that ten toes, there, it's higher, but it was not, it's only seen from paper toe and paper toe, it's in that seven. I always say the ten tracks, so I call it divided Rome. In the sense, Rome was divided. There was the east and west. The west became the ten tribes. The east was still under Rome. Because uh, the first the first pope of Constantine, he made the capital city of what we call paper Rome in Turkey, Constantine. Because he was led to Levi by those of his faith, the Bible. 